special agent Fox Molder here and we're at Tyre station stop before Hastings station to the north of Hastings and towards that way is Somerville to the north Baxter Frankston the city Got a good bit of sun here today. Try and get it off that white line. And there we go. View up the rail there. And heading south. towards Hastings trip point and then Cerberus and Stony Point where it terminates there's the sign Tyab and that is the intersection up there Crossing gates, tennis club up there. Hope you can see all that. I can't see it through all of my viewfinder here. And over here, in this part, what is now great big antique store, one of the biggest on the peninsula, in the Morning Peninsula, which used to be a bush hospital, which was used during the First and Second World Wars, but was closed down in the 50s. It used to be a big packing yard here at Tyab. Uh, it used to have a lot of fruit, mainly apples, pears, and such. And now, like I say, this is a massive antique store. A lot of people on the Morning Peninsula will know about this. Probably a lot of people around the city might know about this store. I do know from the last time I went in there, they do have a massive life-size replica of the alien from the Alien movie. And I don't know about having that in my house. As much as I like the movie, Okay, so we're waiting for the doodle bug and we're also waiting for the steel train today because he should be rolling past. I'm hoping he is anyway. Now, I used to catch the train to school here and we used to get the bus just over there near those pine trees. Used to get off the train here and cross over. There was none of this fencing or anything. It was here back then. It was all just open. You could actually see where they'd kept the old sidings and everything. This is the site that one of the one of my mates, Glenn, he decided that he might get on the back of the doodle bug as a bit of a joke, a bit of a lark. He thought he could do it. He got on the back and well, the train accelerated a little bit quicker than he thought and anticipated. And suddenly his eyes were out on stalks and he had to take a big tumble. No injuries, only to his bruised ego. But it was one of the funniest things you'll see. This was before YouTube. Otherwise he would have been uh, probably gone viral overnight with how that was. Especially the eyes out on stalks. You could see him even from a distance when he realised that he had made a big mistake. Okay. So... I'm just going to take you over. We've got some old concrete ties over here laying away on the side and a heap of ballast, which they should be taken down to the uh, Lysart train. 
and along that line because after looking at that they looked like they were running dirt not ballast down there over here we have some of these absolute animal sized concrete ties or concrete sleepers okay or that, we call them sleepers in Australia so this is them and you can see if you can see that they have some sort of rubberized or plastic digger in between them there on one side perhaps that's to protect them while they're at rest although there's some of these here look like they've been used looks like we've got some old rail mixed in with that a bit second hand a bit old fashioned got a couple of names on them obviously to be taken out they were to be but look at the size of them I don't know if you can see how thick that is. Railway sleepers. As we call them in Australia, not railway ties. Okay. A whole heap of ballast over here. Hopefully they'll be sending that down to the Lice Arts Junction. Maybe I should carry a couple of rocks in my bag and help start helping them out. There you go, all those rail workers are jealous so they need ballast because <laughs> it's here all right well that will end the introduction and I shall sit here waiting patiently for the steel train and of course the semi Famous doodlebug. Okay, Fox Molder out. See you shortly.